Hi there crafters, it's Louise with you today. Welcome along to my channel. Today's share is a Christmas layout in non-traditional Christmas colours. So this was inspired as I was putting together the Scrapbooker's Journal, which is the bi-monthly uh, scrapbook magazine for Aussies, uh, featuring Aussie scrappers, and it's a little pet project of mine. Part of what we were working on for issue six, which comes out in November of 2023, is non-traditional Christmas colours. So I decided that I was going to put together a layout um, featuring non-traditional colours. So you can see that from my stash, I have not chosen a Christmas collection. I have gone with this sort of rainbow spotted background. And this is um, actually quite therapeutic and fun because I really busted some stash making this layout. So you can see I've got that little um, strip down that left hand side. I have I've got some titles off camera. I'm going to go ahead and stick all that together. Now, paste is um, something that you sort of have a love-hate relationship with. Well, I do anyway. And it was sort of something that I hadn't used on a layout for a while. So I'm challenging myself to pull out some, um, as you can see, stencils, particularly this older stencil. Um, it's had a pretty tough life. It's um, one of the very original ones that I've had in my stash for many years. Now, I am using uh, the paste, which is from Minte. So this Minte paste is actually one of the best ones that I've found on the market so far. I love the texture that it has and how it goes through the stencil. So if you haven't tried the Minte paste, I would definitely re recommend giving it a go. All right, now that my... Um, stars are dry I haven't prepped my background in any way but I kind of want to replicate uh, the spotted background paper that I've got going on I wanted to add some color to these stars so I'm using my watercolor palette and I'm just working from top left to bottom right with that sort of triangle um, background that I've got going on and I'm just adding some various uh, levels of splatters so trying to mimic the colors as close to that patterned paper as I can. Obviously, you may not never get it completely right, um, but it's really just about adding uh, a tiny little bit of colour so that those stars um, have something to work with. And this um, layout didn't really have something sort of super structured in mind. It kind of developed um, as I went about it. So the only uh, idea in my head that I started with was purely just to steer clear of um, red and green blue and silver, those sort of traditional um, colours that we see a lot around Christmas. So I still was um, not happy with how my stars were popping out. So I decide that I'm going to um, grab out my little gel pens and again with the rainbow sort of theme going on, I'm going to colour some of these stars. I'm just going to draw an outline around them. And this starts to look much better. So I'm loving the uh, splatter rainbow. I think it coordinates really well with the background paper that I chose. But because my stars weren't quite popping, um, I, yeah, tracing around them with the gel pen really just helped lifted them off the page a little bit and the little rainbow colours uh, helps tie everything together. So this was, yeah, uh, off camera, I'm going to go ahead and finish off most of those stars because I seriously don't think you need to watch the 20 minutes that I spent <laughs> colouring around those stars. And I decided at this point that I need to trim the page and add, again, a little bit more rainbow around the background. So pulling from my stash, choosing elements that are, um, yeah, very much similar to what I've got going on in terms of colour. My little triangle had gotten just slightly lost, so I'm going to uh, pretend like I mounted it on black and just colour around it. So it's my little cheats way of helping that to pop off that background. So a little bit of black with my pen, which seems to be running low on black at the moment. Uh, I'm also going to hollow out the inside of that background paper just so I'm not wasting that internal portion. But essentially, uh, this is my take on the non traditional Christmas colors. I thoroughly hope that you enjoyed that video. I um, hope that you're enjoying and loving the creative shares that we've got in issue six of the Scrapbookers Journal. And as per always, comments are always welcome. So thank you for watching. And I would love if you haven't already, if you hit that little subscribe button.